what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are unboxing yet another massive mystery box this one is from project blitz this is a 50 thousand dollar mystery box you know we've done a hundred thousand dollar project blitz we're in a two hundred fifty thousand dollar one with them and yet again we have a fifty thousand one today this was supposed to come in on vlog week but it got a little bit delayed so we're doing it now so i'm not gonna hold too much time on this we're gonna go ahead and just start opening this up we have another wooden crate you guys know on these mystery boxes a lot of these companies send us the boxes and the shoes separate because the this would be so expensive to ship and heavy nick had to do the honors of putting this one together nick is there a lot of heat in there uh there's definitely some really cool pairs that i need in there uh-oh that means there's an SBs in there for sure. All right, I'm gonna time lapse this because this is gonna take me a minute. Finally, oh, we got it. Woo. All right, so I'm seeing some stuff in here. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go for this. I'm seeing some good stuff. It's hard to tell, obviously, with boxes, but this box, I can tell. We have a size 10. Travis Scott reverse mochas. This to me, this is probably my number one sneaker of 2022. Of all the sneakers, this is number one. I've gotten the most wear out of it. My pair is actually at my house. It's not even here. My pair is destroyed. The creasing is absurd. This pair right here is actually, it's going what most Travis's go for, where it's like probably 1300 ish dollars. I paid 1300 for my pair, like 12, 1300 dollars. Travis's just kind of sit around that. Like the Black Phantoms came out and those are sitting around that price. But that's a good new release. That's my top of the year. I think it has to be. All right, guys, I'm hopping in here because I'm teaming up with Project Blitz to give away a brand new pair of Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low Black Phantoms. If you guys missed out on these on the recent drop, do not worry because we are taking care of it in your size. So rules for this giveaway are very simple. Make sure you guys just subscribe to the channel down below. That is rule number one. Number two is to follow me at Harrison Evel on Instagram. Rule number three is to follow Project Blitz over on Instagram. Then number four is to go ahead and comment on the post that you see on the screen of me holding this sneaker and tag two friends in the comments on that Instagram post. And that is it. We're picking the winner in one month's time, which is going to be January 22nd, 2023. I'm going to keep going. So I saw some rainbow SB boxes. I saw some regular SB boxes. But to get to 50,000, there's got to be something big in here. So let's go for this. This is size 11 Nike SB. Oof. A new release, baby. This is Nick's. Nick wants these. We got the orange lobsters right here. This is a really, really good pair. Did I even show? Did I show on video when I got my pair? So I think it was, we did a video of like some of the top most expensive shoes. No, I can't remember, but I got my own personal pair and I've been wearing them. And this is a size 11. I think I paid like 800-ish for mine. And they're going, are they more now? Do you know? No, I think they're like six for regular. Six, oh, so the six. There's a special box that comes with the, comes with the bear brick. It comes with uh, special box, obviously. And those were 350 retail. Uh, but these ones right here, they're a really good pair. My only problem is with the SBs, they're a little bit tight on my feet. And I got an 11 and a half in mine, and they're a little bit tight. So I don't know, but I really like this colorway. This is top five, maybe top seven for 2022 for me. Definitely, it's up there. I did a video with Kais and a bunch of other YouTubers doing our top tens, and that was in there for me. So let's keep going. Let's see. Now, there's got, we're seeing stuff like this. Oh, this might be one we might, I think this is. This is one we've not had in a very, very long time. I currently don't have any pairs. I sold like three or four pairs for like 2,500 bucks. I got a pair for five grand and then I traded it. This is, anybody guess? The Jordan 1 Chicago Off-White, brand new. Brand new Dead Sox, size 10. Check that out. That's an oldie but a goodie. I know it's not like that old, but this is definitely one of like the biggest type sneakers that's come out in the past five to 10 years. Like everything about it, with Virgil being the Jordan 1, the first one, I gotta grab my phone and see how much to go for. Finally found it in a size 10, brand new 4850 last of 5500. So that's honestly not that bad. They were up at like 8,000 at one point. Maybe it's this size specifically. Size 11, 5,500 bucks. They kind of normalized out. They were up to like 10 grand after Virgil passed, which is kind of messed up. I don't know. I don't currently have any. I should, but I just don't wear them when I have them because they're so expensive. And I, I like wearing kind of more mid-range shoes. Like the most expensive I like to wear is like the reverse mochas. That, after that, I'm like, is it worth wearing? Not really. So that's how I feel with a couple of the shoes. So that's great three. So that's probably, if you're gonna buy these right now, you're spending six, 7,000. These are like 1,300, these are like 700. So probably roughly eight to 10 grand right now. So let's keep going. 
I don't know what that is. The, bo the box looks familiar, but it doesn't, and I can't tell what the signature is on the side. You know which one I'm talking about, Nick? I know which one you're talking about. Is I think it you're, Kobe? I think it's a, there's a Kobe box in there. Okay, so I think it's a Kobe box, but I can't couldn't really tell. This, oh yes, brand new dead stock, Tiffany SBs. And it's, oh Nick, size 11. Damn. What do you know about it? What do you know about it? So I have a pair of size 11s right here that I paid, these are used. I paid uh, 600, 700 bucks for these, I think. These are now brand new, insane. So these, that's a classic. Both same size, but the price difference is drastic on new versus used because there's so many new pairs, but the used pairs, they're not, there's not many in circulation. So a size 11 in these, buy now for $5,600. And then last sale was 2000. So the last time a pair sold was 630.22. So that, it's been a while. A pair of these hasn't sold in almost six months. But if you want to buy them, they're 5,500. You could probably find a deal on them. Used probably on a uh, goat because they sell the used shoes on there. Probably can find a deal, I would guess, for like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on a used pair. And I think used is the way to go. They're not going to crumble. These I don't think are at the age of crumbling yet, but they're from 04, I believe. 2005. So I don't think they're at the crumbling point yet, but it is something to think about. And if you're, if it was me, it'd be like, why would I want to undead stock a pair of these when there's not many out there that are. Dead stock. All right, guys, I gotta hop here real quick and just promote the Friends and Family podcast. If you guys have not seen that yet, we just dropped the episode with my wife, Sophie. We talked about a, a bunch of stuff that you guys have been requesting and asking questions about. So that is live right now. So go ahead and subscribe to that down below. It's also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. All right, so we got a couple here. Now, I definitely see a gold SB box and I feel like this could be a shoe that we've had a lot of. It definitely cranks the value up whenever we get it. And it's an homage to another sneaker that we have. An homage to another, or another shoe that we have is made after it, if it is correct. But it's a size, it's, I already knew it. Size 10 and a half, what the dunks. Surprisingly, we've had these more than we've had like Tiffany's. And these are brand new. Brand new, what the dunks and the box is in amazing condition. I don't have crazy reactions anymore because these have become like, we've had these more than we've had like off-white UNC ones probably, which is crazy to think because we do these high value mystery boxes. But of course, this sneaker was made after that, the What The Pauls, signed by P-Rod himself. If you didn't see that video, you better go watch it. That was really cool. And this, we got to talk to him about the story of making the What The Pauls in correlation to the What The Dunks that had come out. So. Check that video out if you guys want to. But that is just a staple, iconic pair and adds probably fifteen dollars to $20,000 right there. And we're five pairs deep. And we have one, two, we have five left. So we're looking good. I think if I had to guess, we're probably over halfway, maybe 35000 So let's keep going. This looks like a Jordan 3 box. Ooh, it's a Jordan 3. This looks like a sample tag. Soulfly lottery ticket. Ooh, size 10. Soulfly lottery ticket? I don't know if I've seen these. Oh, I have not. So on the box, there's a little sticker on there. It says Soulfly Lottery Ticket. I have no clue how these released and assuming they're a sample. Brandy, look at that like, clear outsole there. For the price on here, it says size 10, $10,000. So we got to look up the history behind these. I think in 2018, they did another release of them. And there was, this is the sample pair of that. So we know Soulfly has a ton of different shoes that have come out with Jordan brand. This is one that I have not seen yet. And I'm gonna look at the size tag. Oh yeah, look at the insole. You can see you've got like little lottery, you know when they do like the lottery selection. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna look and see. So we have the sample tag here. That's the sample tag right there. Pretty cool pair. Again, one that I've never seen. And uh, it's a pretty cool. I don't know if I'd pay 10 grand for them because it doesn't have that too much meaning like that to me, but we'll see what we got. Next up is a Kobe. This is one I saw. I knew it, I knew it had to be a Kobe because of the snake kind of reptile vibes going there. I'm not sure by this box what it is. So it's definitely an older Kobe. This is a size 11 Nike Zoom Kobe FTB in the sale colorway. What do we have here? Oh, my favorite silhouette of Kobe. Okay, before I go into that, we have a little info packet here. The Kobe One Lower Marion High School, Philadelphia. So inside here we have, looks like a little fold out. One of my favorite Kobe's that I've ever had was my Kobe One's Undefeated, the camo colorway. That was pretty cool. This looks like it's a breakdown 
timeline maybe. Okay, so it has the dates and when the specific Kobe colorways came out. The Kobe 1s, the Kobe 2s, the Kobe 3s, the Hyper Dunk, Kobe 4, and goes on and on to the back and goes all the way to 2016, the Kobe 11. So this is from the Fade to Black pack. That's what the FTB is for. Obviously, if you saw in that little pamphlet there, the gradient of it. This came out not too long ago, and it, I remember when this came out, a couple different YouTubers went to a bunch of different stuff in LA for the releases of it. This size right here goes for like $1,900 before fees and everything. Now, some of the other sizes are a little bit less, but I'm gonna throw up on the screen a few different pictures from the Fade to Black pack so you guys can see some of the different sneakers. Some of them are obviously white, some of them are black, some of them are gray. This one has some really cool materials on them. It's kind of got like a snake skin there, obviously from Mamba. You have it there as well. You have some really, really nice leather on there. And these are obviously gonna be brand new. They have the carbon fiber on the bottom there. Nice materials. All right, so I think we have three pairs left. It looks like we have a Jordan 1 and two Nike SBs, one blue box and one pink box. So we'll pull these out and take this crate off the top of the, uh, the desk so we can actually put these shoes somewhere. All right, I mean, I can see getting to like close to 50,000 already off of these seven shoes, but we have three more. So here we go. What do we go with first, Nick? Pink SB box, blue SB box. Do the pink one. SB box. Pink SB box. This to me could be another pair of Tiffany's, but obviously it's not. This, oh, the Neapolitan. I like to call them the Neapolitan. These are the Stussy, Stussy SBs right here. These are one of my favorites, and I still have not been able to get a pair in my size, and these are a size 10 and a half again. I need 11 and a half in SBs. Seems like a lot of SBs that we get in are in like a 10 or a 10 and a half, not a ton of 11. And this one's really cool. It's obviously an older pair. Not a lot of people are maybe care about it as much nowadays, unless you're like a SB head. But this one is iconic, especially the colors and everything. You could get these for like five, 600 bucks. A couple years ago, used, but now they've gone crazy. They, they were going for way less before, before the SB wave came back and all that. But definitely an insane SB pair. And one of my favorites, I kind of like them colors wise as much as the Tiffany, but I just haven't had them. And I don't think I'd wear them that much because I like literally never wear my Tiffany. So we got a Jordan one and then we got the blue SB box. So we're gonna go for the Jordan one. Can't tell by this. Can't tell. Oh my. <sighs> Come on guys, Fragment Jordan ones. Are these a size 11? I don't think, I do not think we've had these in my size yet. We've definitely had these before. Definitely like an eight and a half, never in my size. This is kind of like a weird one because this is like a Grail Jordan 1, but to me it's hard to justify spending the five, six, seven thousand dollars just for that because it's a cool colorway, but you have like the game royals that are like very similar. Obviously, you have these, everybody knows it's the fragment, but to me, spending that much money, I'm picking the uh, Chicago's over these. What, what about you, Nick? I'm definitely taking off-white Chicago's over yeah, those. I think so. If you're an older sneakerhead, I feel like this is the one that you take because it's like this was the pair to get back in the day, but I feel like now for me, the Chicago, that's the hype beast in me, guys. What can I, what can I say? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs. Here is the last pair, 10 pairs deep at 50,000. That's an average of $5,000, smart. So these, I, I would say we're probably there already, easily because these 10, 15, 20 grand, but the last pair, it's hard for me to even guess what these could be because last time we were in the Project Blitz Vault, they had a bunch of these boxes and we looked through them, but I don't remember any specific pairs that it could be. Do I know this one, Nick? I don't think you know this one. All right, let me go to, is it? Okay, Nike Dunk Low Premium SB, that's all it says. Size 10 and a half. This is, what do we have? Oh, did, we didn't show these before. I literally, I have no clue what these are. My veteran Nike SB head, Nick, what about you? Do you know these? I literally, don't know what these are. That's similar to the Shoe Surgeon logo on the top. What's funny is when Project Blitz sends me these boxes, it's a way for them to stump me because I'm usually know almost every pair of shoes that comes in, all the newer stuff, the older stuff stumps me for sure. So I'm finding a couple things on here, some used pairs in the cheaper end. These are the SBTG Premium Friends and Family. There's a few different ones. This is the Sabotage Sable Green Nike SB. I've never seen these. I have no clue what these are. I'm not even in front. Like I have no clue what these are. It's an interesting pair, especially having this on there. I feel like that's pretty unique for an SB and it is sewn on, oh, actually no, it's not. It's Velcroed on there. So you pull this off, there you go, obviously regular, but I've never seen these before. And I'm seeing like some of the sample pairs on there where like 
13 to fifteen hundred dollars and then some of them were like the regular pairs were like I don't know, $500 to $600. So this is probably just an older pair that we've never had that they thought it'd be cool to throw in here. But I think it's a cool way to top it off. It's something that we've never seen, something to educate us on, because obviously we wanna learn about as many shoes as possible. But we have a very SB heavy box. Half the pairs in this are SB. So I have to again give a huge shout out to Project Blitz for sending all these over for the video. You guys know, and we work with Project Blitz some of the times when the price of the box are so expensive. Instead of going ahead and buying $50,000 worth of shoes, because what do I need 50,000 more worth of shoes they send them out for us to showcase for the video and then i get to do a giveaway for you guys to get back from that so again shout out to project blitz we went to their vault it was an amazing time and there's always endless stuff to find there and always endless stuff that they send out so shout out again for them thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like down below and i'll see you guys in the next one this is harrison signing out